Barkley was a former Phoenix Sun. They went to the finals in 93, came up short, couldn't get it done. You know, Barkley don't want – I don't think Barkley would like to see Phoenix win. He says that he would be happy. I don't think Barkley want to see uh, these guys win championships, especially in Phoenix. He don't want to see Kevin Durant win the championship in his backyard, bro. The more rings, the more hardware these guys get, the worse it make Barkley look when he be trying to criticize and have it never won one. You can't have your kids do Stephen A. If you oh, come say, on. You say, no, no, oh, come on. You say if I got Monty Williams and CP3, I can say that. Thank you. Uh, that right. Exactly. Exactly. If you got Chris Paul, if you got Coach Monty Williams, guys that are proven, guys that have went to the final round with this ball club. There's no need for some new voice in the locker room. It's all about roles and adjustments and stuff like that. When KD went to Golden State, Kevin Durant was the was to me the best player on the team. Kevin Durant was the finals MVP both years. Steph Curry to me was still the leader of Golden State. And Kevin Durant, some they try to make it seem like Kevin Durant had a problem with that, but Kevin had to know that he wasn't going to get more love in Golden State than Steph. He had to know that. Now, if he felt like he was getting underappreciated, then we know that's a whole nother thing. But in Phoenix, if you got CP3 and you got Monty Williams and you got Devin Booker, guys who are not troublemakers, guys who don't give black eyes to the league, uh, they play ball. They play hard. I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. Chris Paul is definitely a natural-born leader. That's a fact. I think he just got a hoop. KD just got a hoop. I think all the fin line of everybody play their role. Chris Paul. Hey, Chris Paul is 102 years old. He's not the same player. I agree with we that. Got, you, if you're telling me Kevin Durant's the best player in the world. Chris Paul is 102 years old. He's not the same player. Yo, that's so disrespectful. And Stephen A. Smith, I agree with that. Stuff like that just be going under the radar. Look at Chris Paul's numbers this season. Chris Paul has never been known to be some athletic, unbelievable scorer. But he's still precise with the passing. Just look at the, the dimes he just had over the weekend. Chris Paul can still play. You saying he's 102 years old? Like what? He don't deserve to be out there on the court? I don't see him making the mistakes that Russell Westbrook is making. Chris Paul ain't no mistake maker. But see, Chris Paul got an opportunity to get a championship still. Barkley don't. You see what I'm saying, bro? People can say I'm bugging, yo, but these old guys and their opinions, it, it's, it's hate-driven. But they get paid to do it. Barkley has never won nothing. He is one of the biggest personalities in sports, making some of the biggest money talking this game that we love called basketball. And he never won anything. Mind blowing, bro. It's mind blowing. He got a chance to prove it. He got a great player okay. in De Devin Booker. Okay. He got a really good player uh, in DeAndre A. And he's okay. got Chris Paul. No excuse. Don't forget, if you guys enjoy daily NBA content, do me a huge favor and subscribe, follow, and like the platform. Peace. Okay, now, hey, y'all, with the cooler kick. Keep street, we run this shit. Fell back after run it up. Then my last bitch, she was dumb as fuck. So this my last ox one saying nothing. Whole stunt, big pimpin', whole hunt. 38 with the cooler kid in the mall with me like Joe Button. These hoes front. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.